information. But that narrative is a lie. Atmospheric particulate testing has now conclusively proven that the jet aircraft dispersed trails and haze in our once deep blue skies is not condensation as we have been told. Contrails do not linger, dissipate, and go into cloud coverage, period, in the report. I kept saying to people, you know, what is this? Because now the sky is no longer blue, it's starting to turn gray. And what I found was a lot of people were pretending it wasn't happening. It was kind of like it was not socially acceptable to do, you know, we're all going to pretend this is not really happening. And I thought, oh, this is very bad. Our history has proven that we have used weather back in the Vietnam conflict. Suddenly, you don't take a weapon off the table that was able to provide good data, provided a good reason for it to be used at that time. Should you expect that it is available on demand to have the ability to modify weather? Absolutely, within this country and others because we're talking about a, a very expensive global spread program that involves all, if not almost all, sovereign We have government documents, Senate documents, patents, military documents. We have footage of them turning dispersions on and off with nozzles visible. We have lab tests from all over the globe verifying that the exact elements named in climate engineering patents are showing up. We have collected samples directly from the emissions from aircrafts. We have identified particles in there and have shown named particles of these uh, metal oxides that are damaging the biological tissue and affect human health. Elements like aluminum, barium, strontium, polymer fibers, all of which are highly toxic, all of which are being absorbed by the entire world of life, including us. I know enough to know that we're talking about serious risk. And serious risk to your health. Everything I see in terms of the pattern says there's a war going on globally. Climate engineering fallout is completely contaminating our waters, our soils, our crops, and every breath we take, thus impacting every aspect of our health. Geodrain particles are nanoscale. So small, they go straight through our lung lining, into our bloodstream, and adhere to cell receptors like a plaque. Once absorbed, they are almost impossible to expel from our systems. The layer was uh, filled with these nanomaterials, and that was our first evidence that this is, you know, that these nanomaterials are directly associated with the emissions from these planes. We're simply asking people to investigate the facts and to stop believing the official denial. This is a intentional research area with unknown purposes. We need our military personnel, all branches of the service, we need all their help. We need the answers to get to the bottom of this national security problem.